<coughs> oh, about to show you the new China Hi-Fi module here. Uh, this is just a picture of it. But I actually have it in this box here. So we'll show you in the box. that small. And It has Bluetooth. There is a 24 megahertz channel, but it works at 2.4 gigabytes gigahertz. This is the uh, MP3 converter there. You can see it, and. This apparently is 5 volts, and this is your Bluetooth, which I still can't get, get it to work. There's no instructions on this thing. So, let's fire it up and see if we can get it to work. So there it is, lighting up. At first I ran it with a 9 volt battery. I wasn't sure which is 5 volts or 12 volts. I ran it with a, a lower battery and it only lasted 15 minutes. It went from 6 volts or something like that down to 4 volts in 15 minutes. So it's a good tester but it won't last very long. I have it running into a USB cable here so it's running okay. By the way the information on this unit is 12 volts, that price took me 10 days to get it. The next one I really want to get is going to take another month. This other one, has SD card just below the readout, it's hard to see. That takes over a month to get here because of COVID. But it's the same kind of price range. Amazing technology what they have here. And let's see what it, it can do. Now there's a trick in electronics because I've had technology since I was 10. And the way of finding out what voltage this really is, is you look at this thing called a capacitor. And there is a reading on it. So that's 220 microfarads. We're not worried about that, but we are worried about that it says 10 volts. And they usually rate voltage double the amount of what it is. So it's 5 volts to be 10 volts. So that is a 5 volt device. So if you get a 12 volt device, they'll probably be running it 25 volts because they don't come in 12 volt or 24. So anyway, it would be 25 volts. So that's a little thing to pass on to you. I got this for my Honda Accord. I wanted to just simply put it in there instead of taking the dash apart and all everything. I found out that the thing that's called it, this is not an ashtray, is perfectly fit to put that in there. And then what I would do is run a separate switch to turn off the regular speakers and switch onto these speakers because this is only auxiliary out. There is no power on these things 
there is an auxiliary in. One is an auxiliary in, this one's auxiliary in, and this is uh, auxiliary out. And that's all they have on them. So you'll have to need you'll need an amplifier to amplify this the signal to get it out to your speakers if you want to do that. But th you can plug directly into your from your MP3 or speaker out right into this and you'll, you'll actually make it work. Okay, so this is the device. We'll test it now. Um, we don't really have any way of hearing it, but what we do here my amplifier. Um, I'll just hardwire it to it. And this is bring a little closer you can see it. Okay. So plug that in, and you see it grabs, there are actually five, four levels to this thing, FM, auxiliary, USB, and TIFF, and TIFF is nothing more than a chip that you can find in your quarters or whatever they are, that little guy, there's a TIFF. We'll try that later. Okay, so then this one is officially playing now. I'll turn on the amplifier. And with this connection point. Okay, so that works. And that's coming from the USB. It has the remote control that comes with it. Use the uh, standard 2025 chip or battery. 2025. Okay, anyway. So we can turn it off with this or on. It has all the different modes you can go through, just like the button in the front of it. Right now it's in FM mode. Speaking of FM, I found this little loose wire. Uh, what is this for? Right on. Let's see. Right by the crystal, there's a place you can hook that onto. You solder it right on there, and it really makes it boomy. And I'll show you how that works. So let's pull this out. And we'll go to there's there's Tiff. It's kind of a strange. I don't know why they use those letters. It must be hexadecimal or something. There is an actual 97.5. It says some station right here. Uh, without an antenna, it won't be very good. So. With an antenna. See, so it gets better there. So that works, and then you go 
So I don't know how to get Bluetooth from this. It's, that's what strange thing. It doesn't seem to be showing up on my phone. If anybody knows, please get back to me. That was, that's mainly why I made this video. So people would know. Um, yeah, this chip does work. Uh, I can put it in for you and show you. <laughs> that's the chip there. Little tiff. I think it's working now. And if you notice, it says tiff right there. So you know you're in. So now, if I were to play that, you will get this. Uh, I think that so that's coming out of that tip there. And that's, that's that. So that's basically the machine. So I need to show you just I'm not sure what that thing does. Alright, I haven't figured that one out not. And this USD USB scan, I'm not sure what that does. And these numbers, I don't know what they do. So does anybody have any uh, information on this? Please send it my way. I don't know how to get the Bluetooth to work. Uh, it doesn't show up on my phone. I don't know what I'm looking at anyway. I will show you what I've gotten so far. I go with network and internet and I go look for something else. I'm using a, a LG G6. So then I've got Bluetooth scanning. Hello. and nothing so not sure why it's not working or how to get it working we'll turn this off turn it on maybe that it should be hopping out here because I know Bluetooth it's got a pair somehow so that part escapes me okay here's the basic plans of the shorthand version of the car if you want to want to know that at all a schematic form so some of you can't read schematics but maybe some of you can uh, that's basically it. Oh, if that's helpful to you, I don't know. I'm using relays here to switch it from the speakers with the switch in front. Probably using a LED switch so you can just see it in the nighttime. I have an amplifier here and then there's the module right here at 12 volt and uh, that's basically it and I'm switching two separate speakers so I don't disturb the car stereo system I just have to get another connector for this car stereo and then hook up to that to do this okay then that is that this is my auxiliary end with a jack here There, you can see that, yeah. So, tip ring and sleeve. All that kind of stuff. And, uh, so there we go. Hope that's useful for you.